entitled Logging Monitoring Manage Cluster Component Logs. So this is different in the sense that the last video we talked about application logs, which are basically the container logs. Now we're looking at the, all the other uh, components that consist of uh, Kubernetes consists of. Um, okay, so one thing to keep in mind is that when you think about uh, cluster components, right? There's essentially two different kinds. There's the, those that, you know, in a traditional cluster in particular, there's those that run um, in a container, like you know, like um, like the scheduler, the you know, the controller, a lot of the API server, and and if you remember our old cluster, all those actually ran on our master node as containers, and then there was Kubelet in particular that ran outside of the containers because that's something they need to bootstrap the system, right? And so you know, you got to think about how those logs uh, for each case. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through uh, through the video, starting at the OS of the node, right, and move all the way up up the chain in terms of dependencies, right. So, and we'll look to see how to get at those logs. So the first is uh, OS, right. So every node actually is running on a Linux box, right, and it has its own concept of logging. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to history grab secure shell and I'm going to log into my node. So first onto my bastion host and then onto my, oops, then onto my node, right? Okay, so me, I'm on my node right now, right? And if you know anything about Linux, there's a var logs. Uh, var log. Okay, so there's a bunch of logs here. The two in question that seem to be the most important are, at least for the case of the OS, is there's a messages. So cat, probably long, tail messages, right? So these are logs um, that get written at the OS level, right? And there's another one called um, secure, which has to do with security stuff. Right, like credentials and logins and things like that. So um, those two logs are on the nodes, right? And then, the, then in terms of CloudWatch, like, are how do those do? We those logs only live on the nodes, or can we get them elsewhere? And the answer is we can go to um, log into the console and observe. If I can get to it fast enough. If I go under CloudWatch to log groups, so there's all these EKS ones, right? So we already looked at application. That was the containers themselves. Host is the one we're looking at here. Host has got, if you look carefully at this, there's host messages and host secure. So if I look at host, now, I've turned on off different boxes over time. That's why you see so many right now. But if I look at the host messages, and I look at these messages, these look, um, I don't want to compare necessarily right now, but these are essentially the same things we just saw in the messages full, uh, file, right? And then if you look at the secure one, uh, that one, these look like a lot like the ones that we saw in the secure file. So. That's where these logs are available, both on the node themselves, but it's also stored into um, a log group, and then in this case, the host log group. Okay, um, so that's the node level, right? Another important part of our system is the container engine, in this case, Docker, right? And, um, okay, so let's do this. Uh, actually, just, just, a side, just, a, just a quick side note. Um, so this is running Docker, right? So I can do Docker containers ls. Uh, Docker container ls, I think. Right. And we can see all the containers, right? So these are basically the support. And underneath a particular pod running, I can see the container. And um, I think I've got my, my ones I'm running off. These are all probably daemon sets here. Now, one interesting thing is, uh, oh, 
Okay, let me pause the video a second. I'm gonna, let me pause the video for a second and then I'll cue something up. Back. Um, the reason I, I broke away was I wanted to run, I just ran in this, um, I, went, I just ran a copy of Logger, right? Um, and then I, I wanted to make sure it was running, right? And I wanted to make sure it was running on the node that I was testing on, and I did. So if I look at this node, it's uh, this pod, it's actually running on this node. And what that means is if I do Docker container, and I have to look for that example um, container, right? Indeed, I see a container here. This is the, um, the full name is KNS Ubuntu example dev default, blah, 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 right? And interesting enough, we talked about the logs. Um, while we normally have been getting the logs through Kubernetes, just to illustrate that Docker actually is the true source of these logs. If I go um, Docker logs, if it's logs, uh, I'll paste it and see if that's the right command. Right. So there's there's the actual same log data. Uh, again, Docker's that's the that's kind of the old application log, right? Um, what we're more interested right now is not that. We're more interested in the logs that uh, Docker maintains itself. Um, let me copy and paste this. So Docker itself is a service that maintains its own logs and Docker runs as a system, um, system level, um, system, I think it's called system D process, which means you can use a command called journal, right? And, um, and you can watch those logs. And this is the logs of Docker itself, right? Um, so that's that's where that's where that that data the, and those that's anyway that's Docker's logs, right? Not the container logs for Docker, but the Docker logs themselves. Likewise, um, Kubelet is running as a systemd process, and you can also get at its logs too. Okay. Um, Again, I, I haven't really dove into these logs to figure out what's going on with them, but th th that's, that's Kubelet's logs, right? Of course, Kubelet runs on every node, as does the Docker engine. And if you go into Kubernetes, not Kubernetes, if you go into CloudWatch, right, um, you will notice a, let me go back into log groups and EKS. So we've looked at application, so data plane. In the data plane, you'll notice there are two, basically, again, I've run a bunch of these nodes over time, but there's the kubelet service. And this is basically the same thing as looking at the journal for the kubelet, right? And then likewise, there is Docker. And then these are essentially the Docker commands. That, the same thing that we're looking at when the journal when we did that command with journal, whatever that was, when we looked at these two, these two commands here, that's basically the same log files as that. So that's how you get those two components, okay? Uh, both in the host, the original source, as well as in CloudWatch, right? Now, okay, so there's, if you think about how this um, process, I mean, let me get out of this box. Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to stay on that box. Okay, so, oops. Now, the rest of, there's many other services running in um, inside of a container. So this is kind of the other category of, of control pane elements, right? So that's a cube control, get pods, namespace, cube, system. So these are all these, these all these different pieces of the puzzle, right? And these all run as containers. And so the question is, where are their logs, right? Now, if you read the docs, um, it suggests that they're actually not stored, that, that, and I'm not sure of the rationale for it personally, but um, the way that the documentation would suggest is that they actually all store their logs under slash var log and then some file name, right? And, and then you have to use other mechanisms to get those logs off of those, those locations. Um, but a couple of interesting things. Uh, one is that we're using AKS right now, and like the API server, the scheduler, controller manager, those are not even running on any box I manage. So those are, 
those are not um, you know if available to me, right? Um, and um, yeah, so the other thing is the one that is supposedly they're supposed to be there. They're supposed to be there is. Um, there's one process that we do have access to, and that's cube proxy because they actually run on the nodes, right? And according to docs there too, they say this should be under var log cube proxy log. But if I go on to my host, which I believe is not this one, it's this one, right? I'm in var log and there is no cubelet in here, right? So that was a little bit confusing to me. Now, that being said, I was able to just for reference, I'm able to look at cube, not cube, but cube proxy, right? I can actually grab one of these cube proxies, right? These are running one on each, this is a daemon set, one each node. And if I do cube control log, is it log? it's probably logs. Okay, I can get myself, and it was logs. Mm. Oh. So you can actually see the logs here, right? So I, for whatever reason, it looks like the docs are not incorrect or EKS is different, but the, a lot of these service, uh, all these services that we're seeing, right? They actually do output logs and as such, those that you can get to at least, not like not like the ones that are built in the control plane that Amazon manages, you can get to in this long list, right? So if you look at this long list of logs, log groups, you will notice that, um, oops, if I go back to my application logs, in addition to my, con my pods, right, I'm seeing all the, you know, all these are all system, not, you know, system things that are in cube system. I see all their logs. So like there's the, the, the node one should be cube proxy. I mean, there's cube proxy and there's all the logs for that. Okay. Um, okay. So bottom line is a lot of the things that you can get to, there are control plane elements are logging, right? And then, uh, okay, bear with me for a second. I'm going to read, I mean, I think I'm done, but I'm going to double check something real quick. I hadn't done this video for, I, mean, I hadn't done this materials for like three days now, so I had forgotten this. So the control plane, you know, like scheduler, um, API server, those don't run in, on any box that I have, right? And and what they do, however, and so, which means it's not obvious how I'm going to add these logs. So it turns out that if you go to EKS and go into your cluster configuration here, there is a logging tab, and if you hit manage logging, you can turn on logs on an individual basis for API server, so well, controller manager and scheduler, and then I'm not as familiar with uh, audit. Um, anyway, there's other, these are all the control plane um, processes, right? And I've already enabled scheduler, this will show that where it lives, right? So if I go back, once I've enabled scheduler, if I go back into AWS under CloudWatch, there's another log group that gets created. If I can find it fast enough. There's a log group called, instead of the ones you've been looking at so far are container insights. But now we're going to look at the cluster itself. And you'll notice that I have now cube scheduler and there's logs for cube scheduler now here. Right? And in fact, it, uh, this is actually useful because I can actually see, um, like I just, this is earlier I was scheduling pods. I hadn't actually looked at this, but you can actually look to see how it's scheduling pods and whatnot. Okay, um, I believe 